What's going on everybody? It's the Fung Bros and we're super excited about this tutorial because today we are talking about fonts and titles, motion graphic templates, AKA Mogarts and speech to text captions. All the new cool stuff that we like to use. Okay, so starting off, let's say you want a really cool animated title slide, but you don't have the tools, the know-how, or the time to make one, which I don't have any of those. So what you can do is go into your essential graphics panel and go into your Adobe stock. Now, it's gonna show you a lot of stuff that's free. David, which one looks good? Let's go with Rip Paper Title. I like it. So I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna download it. Bang, super easy. And then, basically what's gonna come up to is this cool Rip Title animation where I can actually replace the media. This is one of the coolest things because it's a template that is totally customizable. I can change the font, I can change the media in it, the little clips, everything. The way they set it up, it makes it super easy to plug and play your own words, your own graphics into this pre-built template. And that's Mogart's. Let's say I want to customize the font in this Rip Paper title, okay? So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go into Edit, Essential Graphics. I'm gonna go into the main title controls. So right now we used to have it saying uh, Tokyo and Brooklyn. That's kind of our tagline for this video. And then I can go to the text properties right here, this little drop down menu, boom. Okay, so I have a whole list of fonts, but let's say I want more, David. I want a larger selection. I'm gonna click on this add fonts from Adobe. This little window is gonna pop up. Wow, I mean, look at all these categories, David. Just read some of them. Luxury. Wow. Rounded, art deco, <laughs> shaded inline ornaments. They give you the vibe for you, so you can just look and say, hey, I want it something clean. So for us, we use more geometric and clean. I like this one, this Roya Brew, Tokyo and Brooklyn. I'm gonna click on view family and you're gonna see that there's many different types of this font, whether it's usual light italic or there's uh, bold italic, right? I personally really like usual extra bold italic. Mm. Yeah, bold is good for our videos because it's easy to see it so that we don't need any sort of like drop shadow or like backlighting or anything like that. So I'm just gonna click activate font. So we picked the fonts that we wanted for our rip paper title and then I'm actually gonna replace the media as in the clips. So when replacing the media in the Mogart, I'm actually just gonna go to my project panel here on my left and drag it in. Super easy. I love it. It's like plug and play because you know, obviously the motion graphic template is already pre-built, but there are parts of it that are variable and it makes it super easy to swap in and out whatever clip you want. And now it looks super pro because that's honestly how professional like pieces of content look. They have, you know, unique fonts, they have graphics, you know, with the motion graphic art templates. And when it comes to the Mogarts, the motion graphic templates, they're so customizable, the color, the scale, the positioning. So I would just mess around with it if I was you. All right, and now that brings us to what I think is one of the most exciting Adobe Premiere features right now. David, what is it, man? Speech to text. Essentially, this is almost like a computer generated auto captioning feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. A certain part of your timeline, certain amount of dialogue to transcribe, and basically it's going to just put it out in a timeline caption list for you. So you are not gonna have to go in and make each little title caption and type it out yourself. It's gonna transcribe it automatically. So I'm gonna highlight a small part of dialogue right here on my timeline. And all you're gonna do is go into your window, then text, and then you have your little window box here and you're, all you're gonna do is click on retranscribe sequence. It actually got all the words right. What we need to do now is click create captions mm -hmm. and that's gonna place the captions layered on top of the video. Wow, so basically now the captions have popped up just as any other title pops up on the timeline so that we can edit it, we can customize it, we can change the position, we can move it around into the bottom right, bottom left, we can change the font. I can change the style behind it. I can add this whole highlight to it. It is just like any other title now. And there it is. With no extra money and just a few extra clicks, you can get a motion graphic template that looks like something you would have paid a lot of money for. Helping your project look like a pro without being pro.